I decided to ask out Shayla. Shayla? That sounds like a stripper name. Like a daytime stripper name. Mm, like, good morning, gentlemen. Enjoy your waffles as you welcome to the poll. Shayla! <laughs> In Harlem, being a woman in total control of her life and love. You know, I saw you the other night. Really? That's weird. It's not always easy. Guys, I'm seriously fine. Uh, girl, you know we don't you believe have you, right? You sprinkles in your hair. I'm, every I'm about work, I'm about career, and tomorrow I'm gonna introduce myself to the new department head and make her fall in love with me. Dr. Pruitt, I'm such a fan of your work. I've read all three of your books. Camille Parks. Can I call you back? That, that's fine, Dr. Pruitt. I'll talk to you later. Sorry. Thanks. That is definitely Damien. He looks so good. Girl, you messed up. Oh, that's right. You two know each other. Only from the entire year that we dated, Mom. I met a guy who really gets me. You deserve a good guy. Why is everything always about men? What about our dreams? What about what we want? I think maybe you should go. You sure? Holy sh... I think now's a good time to take a little break. Don't you? A strong black woman uh -huh. is resilient independent and capable. Let's loosen up and have some fun, hoes. She on one. I ain't been a host since 2005. In 21st century Harlem, we sisters can be fierce, be in charge, call the shots, get what we want. Every woman has value. And you pay it in cash or paper. Whoa, 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 player, don't get comfortable. No one sits until they're at it. You have your own place, right? Of course. Your finances are in order? 100%. You let her be the boss in the bedroom? Each and every time. Oh. Just kidding. You can sing. Oh. <laughs> girl guy. Girl guy. Girl guy. Girl guy. Boom, there you go. That's the trailer for Prime Videos Harlem streaming now. But before you go check it out, as you see on the screen, I'm so honored, so delighted to be joined by a trio of the stars. Um, I got Wani Feliz, who plays Isabella, Robert Richard, <laughs> who plays my man, Sean, and of course, Sullivan Jones. Don't call him Sullivan Jone. It's Jameson in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, y'all. Thank you again so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Um, I binged Harlem. I, I binged up to episode seven last night, finished it off like maybe a half hour ago. And uh, so I got a lot of questions, but um, I, I'm, I'm going to only throw a little bit since I got a little bit of time. But before we dig in, can y'all tell me just how it was getting down on this project when this uh, when the sides came your way, you auditioned, you, you got it. What was it like to be involved? Excuse me, to be involved with Harlem. Um, let me throw it to you, Wane. Uh Well, when I when the breakdown for this character came through, I was just like, I need to do this role. One, I love AOC. So any role that has a semblance to AOC, I'm all about. I have like a little crush on her. So I was just like, this is my vibe. This is totally in brand for what I want to do. And then on top of that, you know, it says that the les um, that Isabella identifies as a lesbian and I'm a lesbian in real life. So I was just like, this has so many parallels to my life. And I just felt like I could just I could just like use my own lived in experience and my authenticity and channel it through her. And I just I just knew I needed to be a part of it. And then when reading the sides, I think some of the audition sides were some of the bowling bowling alley scene. And it just felt so real and so organic. And I I just felt like this is this is the role I want to step into next. And luckily, you know, like um Grace Byers and I, we did a, a chemistry read before I booked a role. And that's when we really got to understand each other's energy. And I was just really excited that I was able to make it to set and play. I mean, all these wonderful people. I love it. Thank you, Wani. How about you, Robert? Uh, you know, I was reading to the sides. I saw the breakfast scene. I was like, yo, I want to see, put it out there for all the fellas. Make some breakfast for the ladies. You know what I'm saying? Get in there. You know what I'm saying? Fall in love. Like, yo, girl. When am I see you again? Um, so, so yeah, I think that was probably the most exciting thing. I'm like, I'm like, I love it when a guy plays a man's man. Who's like, listen, I see you for who you are, and I'm signing up for you. Like, I'm gonna show up for you. I'm gonna try, you know, help you break all your walls down because a woman like Quinn, she's got all her walls up, and she needs just a strong man around her to be like, yo, you can drop all that. You know what I'm saying? Let's tear all that down and get to who you really are. And just to have Sean sort of hold her hand through that, I think is an amazing character to play. I love it. Thank you, Robert. Sullivan, what's, how, yeah, how about you? Oh, 
Yeah, yeah. For me, it was Tracy Oliver. I mean, I, I read the sides. Like, it, sides are, are funny, fun and funny and interesting. But it's, you know, it's Tracy Oliver's show, and, and she's amazing. And then I'm playing opposite Megan, you know, who is, who is incredibly talented and incredibly intelligent and um, versatile and has been in the game for a long time and, and, and is compassionate and gener generous and all the things. So it was a no-brainer. It was, it was a no-brainer. Awesome. All right. Some, so y'all are on set, man. Y'all working together. Um, tell me what was it like uh, filming? I, I don't know if this was filmed during COVID times, uh, you know, finally getting into character, working with everybody. Um, just some, a little bit of the experience. Uh, Wani, back to you. Well, we had to do testing like what, three times, uh, like every other day, um, whenever we were filming for the episodes we were in. And, um, you know, that, and then you have to wear like masks and shields on set. It's pretty annoying, but you know, it, it protected everybody, with, you know, the pandemic going on and still going on. Um, but once we were there, once we were like ready to be on camera, it just felt normal. You know, we went back to just playing and, and just stepping into our characters and feeding off one, uh, feeding off of each other and what we gave into the scenes. And um, it was just a lot of fun. We had a blast on set. It was just very lighthearted from the cast, the crew, producers, the directors, everybody was just there to have a good time because that's what, doing a TV show is, is us just playing, you know, it's, it's not brain surgery. So we just had a good time with it. And we're so excited that the show is received the way we wanted it to be. Awesome. It was wild though, because basically you're testing so much Mm -hmm. And a, a, a positive test can, like every day, it's like, well, if there's a positive test, this whole thing is going to be thrown out of whack. I, I think I was on set one day. I was supposed to be uh, shooting with somebody. Somebody that they were with tested positive, so they couldn't come to set. They, there's a whole protocol. They had to get tested again. It ended up being a false positive. But it's, it's really crazy um, mm -hmm. to be filming during COVID because there's just like so much more stuff and layers and protocols and procedures to to uh, to pay attention to. But we did it. I mean, yeah. clearly we yeah. we did it. And you killed it. You killed it. Robert, how about <laughs> you? You got a favorite memory from set? You know, uh, it's a lot of hard work. You know, we shot in New York. Uh, New York is the best backdrop on the planet for movies, TV shows, some of the most iconic shows ever takes place in New York City. And, um, you know, my character, like, it, in the script, it's like, he's stripping, he's got his shirt off, he's in the bedroom scene. So I had to take my work home with me every single day. All the things we're talking about going to work, I ran to work in the snow every day. I ran four or five miles from wherever I was at in Brooklyn to go to Long Island City to get to work every day because I had to stay in shape. That was sort of like my thing of being like, I'm oh, not yeah. gonna get to a scene and have my boss or our cast members not have that real reaction being like, this guy is, you know, the dreamy guy that is gonna go after the girl. So I had to take my homework with me every single day. And it was it was great. It was a grind. I fell in love with it, you know, but I had to work out. I mean, my every I'm representing every bartender. You go into a bar, they got a protocol, they got the black t-shirt on, everybody's, you know what I'm saying, in shape. I had to live that lifestyle the whole winter um, in New York, so. Yo, that's real talk. I, I didn't say, even think about that for a second. You had to literally go hard on this, bro. You had to go well, hard. Because like, you're on set and there's just food everywhere, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, it's just like, we, we work in the entertainment business. It's the best business in the planet. So, you know, you got big trailers and you got, Take a nap if you want. You got blankets and there's hot food everywhere. And there's 400 of us and it feels like a family. And I'm, I'm like, listen, number one, I can't eat. I never ate on set one day. Um, I only sucked on lemons and people know that I'm really into my fitness stuff. And two, like, you know, I have to be in shape for this role. This is part of my job. Got you. I, I see I got a little bit of time left and I have so many questions. Uh, again, I love this cast. I love y'all. Uh, so real quick, Wani, I was shipped before, like I said, I was on episode seven up until this today. I was shipping both you and, and um, I'm forgetting the, the lead act the, that you have a relationship Quinn. with. Quinn. Quinn, yes. I was so excited that finally happened. <laughs> so I can't wait for season two to hopefully have that, you know, further assemble. My man, Jameson, bro, Sullivan. Uh, yo, I'm, I feel for you, brother. We're, we're going to see what goes down hopefully in a season two. Um, <laughs> but I hope you like, you like your crab uh, muffins. Uh, I'll, I'll hit up Red Lobster with you any day. And my man, Robert <laughs> Richard, bro, 
I I had uh, uh I related to you the most because uh there was a time that I handled my business and that's how me and my wife met. So I ain't gonna say too much more, but I can completely <laughs> relate with that. Um, this was truly Absolutely. a pleasure, man. Uh, anything I want to say before we leave out to the fans that are checking this out again? Thank you so much. Uh, Wani. Just, uh, we appreciate all the support uh, in the end. You know what I'm saying? Like this show has four women, but it's for the fellas too. And if you're a young person, millennials, Gen Z, you know what I'm saying? Trying to figure out your life and what it's like dating in this tech world that we live in, NFTs and all this technology stuff. Like this is the show that's like honestly 21st century dating, getting along with your friends. Yes, and tell your family, your friends to watch over the holidays. You know, come into the new year with good energy and what you learn through the show. And uh, let's just celebrate love, guys. Oh, yeah. And tell your mom, Whoopi Goldberg and Jasmine Guy are on the show. Tell your mom. Oh, yeah. That was still <laughs> the deal right there. What about you, Selvin? Any last word? Yo, man, it's just, it's, it's, a, it's a fun, funny, entertaining, deep ride. And I think in a moment where there's, you know, there's, there feels like so much is going on in the world with COVID and politically, this is, this is what you want. You want to come in your house, you want to put the fire on. And this is the, this is the show you definitely want to watch uh, this escape. holiday with your family. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, Wani Feliz, Robert Richard, Sullivan Jones, truly a pleasure. Everybody check out Harlem streaming right now on prime video. It's a blast. I loved it. I have to have season two. We need that in my life. We need it ASAP. To happen. Thank you, Patrick. Appreciate y'all. Everybody. Patrick, I can't believe you didn't bring up the music on the show. Bro, the I wanted so to. so damn good. I needed my pony. I needed genuine my pony because that's what I used to dance to. <laughs> but the whole the, the music production in the whole show was yeah. phenomenal. Oh, yeah. Oh, yo, I would love to chat with y'all in the future if I can set that up, man. But this was an amazing time. You guys are brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Thanks, holidays. Man. Appreciate Happy holidays to y'all too. Thank you so much. Cool. Before I start, I, I just want to make sure I don't brutalize people's names. Um, is it Wani Felice? Yes, perfect. Awesome. Thank you. Robert Richard? Richard, yeah. Thanks, man. Thank you. And Sullivan Jones? It's actually Jonay. The Jonay. I'm kidding. I'm okay. kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so Sullivan Jones. I appreciate you, man. Yeah. No yeah, worries. Yeah. No <laughs> doubt. First off, man, it's just a pleasure to speak with y'all. Thank you all so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Likewise. Thank you. Thank you. So I, I'm coming off of the trailer. I'm going to have the trailer right before this and we're going to get into it. All right. <clears throat> One, two, three.